Welcome to TPM Vids Disney Beat, where we talk about all things Disney. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon to be notified when we upload a new video. We also have Instagram and Twitter. You can find us at TPM Videos. One of the best things about exploring the Disney theme parks is that anytime you visit, no matter how many times you've been, there's always going to be little details that you'll notice for the first time. Throughout the Walt Disney World theme parks, there's so much hidden right in front of your eyes in many of the rides, attractions, and restaurants. Now, over the past couple years on this channel, we've discussed many hidden details and secrets in all the theme parks, but there's quite a few that never made it into past videos. A lot of these hidden secrets are my personal favorites to point out and take note of. So today we'll tour the theme parks and count down the top 7 hidden secrets at Walt Disney World. Number 7 We're gonna start the list off at Disney's Animal Kingdom. Over in Dinoland USA, the main e-ticket attraction is the Thrill Ride Dinosaur. It originally opened with the park on April 22nd, 1998 as Countdown to Extinction. In May of 2000, the ride was slightly rethemed and renamed Dinosaur to coincide with the film Dinosaur. Since opening day, the loading area themed to the research facility has remained practically untouched. Now, if you've ever taken a look around, you may have noticed some chemical names on a series of red, yellow, and white pipes. Well, these chemical names are actually significant and make up the main ingredients of ketchup on the red pipe, mustard on the yellow pipe, and mayonnaise on the white pipe. Even Joe Rohde, lead Imagineer of Disney's Animal Kingdom, confirmed that these three pipes are these three condiments. But what does ketchup, mustard, and mayonnaise have to do with dinosaurs? Well, from 1998 until 2008, McDonald's used to be the sponsor for Dinosaur and all of Dinoland USA, so Imagineers secretly hid these chemical formulas on the pipes as a tribute to the attraction sponsor at the time. Number 6 This next one will take us into Disney's Hollywood Studios. At the center of the park sits the Chinese Theater, and it's fairly well known that authentic handprints from famous celebrities fill the courtyard. You can spend a good amount of time just looking through all of them. But did you know that the Chinese Theater isn't the only place you can find these handprints at Hollywood Studios? Over on Sunset Boulevard, Theater of the Stars is home to Beauty and the Beast live on stage, but it's also home to some hidden but not so hidden handprints. Right at the entrance into the theater, a handful of these prints are scattered throughout this area. But why would Disney add these handprints here, when even to this day, the courtyard of the Chinese theater has plenty of space for a lot more? While the park held many handprint ceremonies during its time as Disney MGM Studios, but a lot of the concrete blocks were stored backstage and were never actually used in front of the Chinese theater. When Theater of the Stars opened along with Sunset Boulevard in 1994, Imagineers used the extra handprint blocks here in front of the theater, and every day, thousands of people walk right over them without even realizing they're stepping over pieces of Disney MGM Studios history. Number 5 Over at Magic Kingdom, New Fantasyland brought us the Be Our Guest restaurant which you can definitely consider it to be a walkthrough attraction. Themed to the Beast's castle both inside and out, Be Our Guest has recreated memorable locations from the movie, like the dark and mysterious West Wing and the iconic ballroom. The level of theming is just incredible, and there's so many little hidden details and secrets inside these rooms that are very easy to miss. While you're in the main ballroom, if you take a look up at the giant chandeliers, you'll also see cherubs floating in the clouds. This ceiling was all hand-painted, and the cherubs are actually the faces of Imagineers when they were babies, or the children of Imagineers. When you take a close look, you can see how realistic the faces are. While we're in the ballroom, the back set of windows gives you a view outside the castle, where you'll see snow falling. Now, this animated snow is actually original animation cells from the Beauty and the Beast film. Tucked away on the left-hand side, you'll find the West Wing dining area, complete with the red rose. And here's where you'll find a pretty neat little hidden secret. 
Every time a rose petal falls, you'll hear a roar of thunder and see a flash of lightning. When this happens, the portrait of the prince changes to show the beast. And if you're not keeping an eye out for it, you'll definitely miss it. As you can see, there's a lot of Beauty and the Beast magic just beyond these stone walls. And if you're able to get a reservation to be our guest, you don't want to miss this experience. Number 4 Taking a look at another Disney restaurant, Grand Avenue at Hollywood Studios is home to Pizza Rizzo. It's an Italian New York pizza joint themed to the Muppets, owned by Rizzo the Rat. Now the seating areas in this restaurant are huge, but there is one seating area in particular that's pretty bizarre and it's hidden right at the back of the restaurant. From the outside, if you head up these stairs, across the balcony seating area and through these doors, you'll find Rizzo's Deluxe Supreme Banquet Hall inside the restaurant. It's literally a wedding reception area that usually has very few people, if anyone at all, in the room. It feels like you just stepped into the 80s. It's pretty great. They play a variety of songs in the room and sometimes the lights even get a little crazy. It's really the perfect place for your own personal dance party. This room was brought to our attention by our friends at Paging Miss Tomorrow and it's become one of our favorite little hidden spots at Hollywood Studios. Well, that's when the restaurants actually opened. As of recently, Pizza Rizzo has become seasonal, so it may or may not be open when you visit the park. But if it is, Make sure you step inside to check out this little hidden gem at Hollywood Studios. Number 3 Adventureland at Magic Kingdom is full of, well, adventure. But have you ever walked through the land and noticed this by the Jungle Cruise? Or heard this? Or seen this? Or maybe even this as you're walking through the Pirates of the Caribbean gift shop? Well, if you have noticed any of these things, they're all part of the interactive game called the Pirate's Adventure Treasures of the Seven Seas. Now, this attraction is listed on the park map, but not many people know about it, and it doesn't help that the operating hours are only from noon until 6 p.m., but it is a lot of fun for the young and the young at heart. With five different missions, you're given one of these maps, which brings you all around Adventureland. Each map's different, which means that you'll get to activate new stations every time you play. One mission takes about 15 to 20 minutes to complete, and the biggest secret with this game is that you can actually get a free fast pass for Pirates of the Caribbean. How you ask? Well, all you need to do is complete two missions, and a cast member will give you and the rest of your group playing a fast pass for Pirates. This is especially great if the ride is pulling in standby waits of 30 minutes or more. Instead of standing in a line, you can be exploring adventure land looking for treasure, then head on to Pirates of the Caribbean using your fast pass. Plus, you get to keep the map and also get a collectible card as a souvenir after you complete each mission. Number 2 Pandora at Disney's Animal Kingdom is simply breathtaking, with its lush landscape, the floating mountains, and the cascading waterfalls. But here's a little secret. One of these waterfalls is not like the other. Instead of using real water, Imagineers used a spinning wheel that rotates a bit slower than the actual speed of falling water. This creates the illusion that this waterfall is much further than it actually is. When we take a look at this wide shot again, it all blends together seamlessly. You'd never know it wasn't real water if it wasn't pointed out. It's a brilliant little detail that's hidden and disguised right into the mountain range, and it's a great example of how forced perspective tricks your mind. Number 1 We're gonna close the list off at Frontierland in Magic Kingdom, where you can have a zippity doo dah day on Splash Mountain. The drop down Chickapin Hill is a highlight of the ride and the dark ride show scenes feature dozens of audio animatronics. 68 animatronics to be exact bring the world of Br'er Rabbit to life as he tries to find his laughing place. Now this is one ride where there's so much to look at along your swift journey that many details are very easy to miss. While your log finds its way into the laughing place scene, you'll see many animatronics along the right hand side. But be sure to look up to catch this gopher on the ceiling. Now sure, this guy is sort of hidden, but the secret here is what he says. Take a listen. 
It might sound like just a random high-pitched sound or a sneeze, but this gopher is actually saying FSU. It's the acronym for Florida State University. One of the Imagineers who worked on Splash Mountain graduated from FSU, and this was a way to pay tribute to their alma mater. Now, the only way you'll hear FSU is if you're sitting in the front row and are directly under the gopher as that piece of audio plays. If you're in rows two to four, you probably won't hear it since by the time you pass underneath him, he's already said the line. Once you know exactly what he's saying, it's a fun little secret to be aware of the next time you ride Splash Mountain. So, did you know about any of these little hidden details before the video? Do you have any other favorite hidden secrets at the Disney parks? I'd love to know. Leave a comment down below to start a conversation, and don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. If you have any videos from the Disney parks that you'd like to share with us to be used in future videos, follow the link in the description below. Thanks so much for watching! Click the TPM icon on the screen to subscribe to this channel, and check out some of these other videos which we're sure you'll like.